Assalamu alaikum. So the lesson today is about one of the most uh, used application of addition. As you see, I didn't put the title yet, so uh, I want you to discover the title by yourself. So uh, let's start, and uh, uh, let's suppose I have a piece of paper, and I want to create a small sheet of that piece without cutting any uh, any piece of that paper. I don't want to use the cutting. Uh, process. So which process I'm going to use here in order for me to create those small sheets. So I'm going to use the uh, folding process. So I'm going to use the process of folding. The first thing I need to do here is to fold this one into two equal pieces. So I'm going to draw a line to show where the uh, folding occur. So that's the first steps I need to do, so fold into two sheets for example. My second process, so we'll fold each sheet into two equal pieces. So we fold the first one and I will fold the second one. So in the second uh, folding process, so we fold each uh, piece into uh, two equal sheet. Each piece into two equal sheet or two sheet. Again, I keep folding each uh, piece into two equal. Uh, sheet so I will have here two here I will have two here two and here two again I keep going I keep I keep folding again I have eight pieces now so I want to fold each piece into three equal pieces so I'm gonna fold each one into three equal pieces so now I have three pieces in each uh, one here. So here I have eight, total eight pieces and each one has three equal pieces. And if I want to know how many total pieces I have, so here I have uh, three here, here we have three, and here we have three, and here we have three, here we have three, here we have three, here we have three, and here we have three. So if I want to find out how many total pieces I have, I just need to add all of those three so when we add them I got 24 pieces and keep in mind I have eight of three so that's me I have eight the total big pieces are eight so I have one two three four five <coughs> five six seven eight so I have eight of three so it's exactly what we have here now my question to you is how many process of folding we did we didn't do one we did two we did more than two so if we did more than two so which we call that uh, there's a word we use for more than two so either many or multi process of folding exactly what we did in order for us to get that number so we did multi process of folding in in order for us to get 24 but there's something <coughs> or there's a word which is combine those two into one word so which word combine those two into one word to uh, express proce process of folding so the only word who uh, combine those two into one word is plicate or application. The process of folding mean application. So if I substitute those two words with that word, so I will have multi application. So and if we take off that minus sign here, so what we did here we did a multiplication. And uh, the lesson today 
is multiplication. So welcome to Crack Mathematics. So the lesson seven today is about multiplication. Using the example we did in the introduction, so we sum eight threes. So we got three plus 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 three, and we got twenty-four. So we got eight of threes. So what's the common between those trees besides similarity? So what is the common between those three besides similarities? What do you think? They are identical. So the terms of this addition are identical. So the terms of the above addition are identical or you can use like like each other alike so what about uh, uh, the number of terms can we count the number of terms yes the number of terms are countable so this is the second property above the uh, about this addition so it has countable terms and we know it's eight if we count one two three four five six seven eight so we have eight terms of that addition so if I want to find the sum of ten terms of three So what I will do here, so I will create the sum of 10 terms, I add them, then I will get 30. Now if I want to find out the sum of 40 terms of trees. So what I will do here, I will create the sum of 40 terms, and I add them, then I will get 140, 120, sorry. Again, if I want to create the sum of 100 terms of trees. So what I will do here again, I will create the sum of 100 terms, I add them, that I will get at the end 300. With this way, if we have a big number of terms, we will be short of space. So we need to look for a short representation for this type of addition, which is addition with identical terms. And this is where the sign read times, which is a cross sign read times was introduced as a short notation of uh, a long sum with identical terms short notation with uh, short of long sum sorry short notation of long sum with identical terms of long sum with identical terms so instead to have uh, for example 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 5 times we just write it down as 5 times 2 and we will get 10 or if I have 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 so what we have here we have 4 3 so this means I have 4 times 3 which is 12 so this is the beauty of the unification is uh, it's like what you call like a condensed form condensed form of uh, long addition so it's like I'm talking about multiplication is a condensed form of long addition so if you can see this way so this is exactly what it is 
Now let's uh, define what is multiplication. So we're going to, to give a definition of multiplication. So multiplication, in fact, is a process of finding a quantity called product by taking a countable sum of identical addend. That's exactly what is multiplication. So multiplication. is a process of finding a quantity so this quantity is called product by taking Countable so when we count the terms we call that number multiplier countable sum of identical identical terms the identical terms are called multiplicant called multiplicant so in fact what do we have? we have the product is equal multiplier times multiplicand. Most of the book they don't use those terms anymore, but it's better for you to, to know those terms. At least in uh, in business and in chemistry we use the term multiplier a lot. At least you know what this mean multiplier. So most of the book now they use factor but it's better that you know those two terms because it will help you in other subjects and there are many reasons of using the word factor instead of multiplier and multiplicand and one of the reasons is like uh, when we switch uh, position of the multiplier and the multiplicand the result always stays the same so here if I have uh, 3 plus uh, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 here I will get 12 and if I have here 4 plus 4 plus 4 I will get 12 as you see the result uh, stay the same, that's mean the product stay the same if I switch position of multiplicand and multiplier so uh, if we switch and we still have the product the same so why we keep different names so this is one of the reasons but for me, I prefer that always the first uh, terms of multiplication is multiplier. So if you can keep this one in your mind, that will be good. Now the question, how we can apply the definition to multiply any two numbers? To multiply uh, one digit number with another one digit number is uh, straightforward, it's very easy as you see here and uh, with that idea we can create we create uh, the multiplication table so but when it's come to two digit three digit numbers so we need another way to multiply those number without uh, using uh, the concept of addition so for example if I want to multiply uh, uh, 14 times 3 so I'm not going to just write down uh, 3 40 times so there must be a way we can multiply without uh, using uh, addition so in that case as we know that 14 times 3 is the same thing as 3 times 14 so we can make this as this form so 3 times 14 and uh, 
14 and I will write it down in two in the sum of two numbers which is the distinct quantity so I'm going to write that in terms of 10 and swans so this will be 3 times 10 plus 4 well look what happened here we have 3 times that sum so when you have 3 times that sum that's what you do we add that sum 3 times so here's going to be 10 plus 4 plus 10 plus 4 plus 10 plus 4 so now I will have, I will can check how many tens I have. I have one, two, three, three tens. So it's going to be three times ten. Plus how many four I have? I have three. So it's going to be three times four. As you see here, instead to go through uh, these uh, steps, so if I want to go through these steps, what I need to do here? You see, I just need to multiply three by ten and three by four. So if I have a number here and we have a sum, I just multiply that number with each terms of the sum. And this concept is called distributive property. So this is exactly what is distributive property. So it's said to have this process. So if I have 3 times 10 plus 4, I just time this by this and time this by this. That means I time the number by each term of the addition or whatever version you have here so we'll, we'll see when we can apply but this is the concept of uh, distribution so here is going to be 3 times 10 plus 3 times 4 so this is the idea of distribution property write the property so distribution property so uh, given a b c numbers so we have a times b plus c is the same thing as a times b plus a times c so the idea of distribution, distribution property is you multiply that number with each terms of the addition so if I have three terms here I multiply that number with each terms of that addition if I have four terms and so on so I multiply each terms by that number so we will see the application with numbers let's pick an example suppose I want to multiply 215 times 3 so how can I do that using distribution property so this multiplication is the same thing as if I have 3 times and I'll write down this one in terms of the appraised value quantity so it's going to be 200 plus 10 plus 5 then what I do here I distribute that number to each terms of the addition so here I will have 3 times 200 plus 3 times 10 plus 3 times 5 so here I will have 600 plus 30 plus 15 so when we add I will end up having 645 and this is the same concept you use when you multiply the number vertically so we have 215 times 3 so what did you do you multiply 3 by 5 then you multiply 3 by 1 then you multiply 3 by 2 you see what you do here you distribute the same the same idea so that's mean the, f the multiplication we use in second third grade to multiply uh, those type of number is the distribution property so here I will have 15 because I have one ten so I'm gonna add carry the 10 here so 3 
plus 1 is 4 and here I will have 6 the same same thing that's mean you are using distribution property you don't even know it another example just for fun so uh, suppose I want to multiply uh, 324 times uh, 213 so uh, normally if I multiply this vertically normally we start with the ones and move to the left so next stands next hundred and so on so is there any way I can multiply this without using that order so suppose I want to start with the tens then move to the ones or move to the hundred then do the ones is it possible to do that order so if I don't want to follow the order like start with the ones tens hundred so is it possible in fact with distribution property it's possible so but you need to know the concept behind uh, the way that you multiply here so keep in mind when you multiply with the ones we start the we start the answer from the ones so when we move to the tens we start the answers the answer from the tens when we move to the hundred we start the answer from the hundred so that's the idea behind so if I want to start with the, ten, the tens here my answer should start from the tens if I want to move to the hundred that's mean my answer should start from the hundred if I want to do the ones so this answer start from the ones that's mean you start you answer from the place value of the multiplier so this is the multiplier so this digit is the multiplier so this digit is the multiplier this digit is the multiplier that's mean the place value of that one is one so I'll start from the ones the place value of that one is ten so I'm gonna start from the tens the place value of that one is a hundred so I'm gonna start from the hundred so that's the key of identification do I have to start from right to left you don't have to so if you know how to manage yourself so you can do it uh, from any place where you want so if I start from the tens here I will have four uh, two three so this is gonna be eight four six and here is gonna be twelve seven nine and when we add so I got two and this is eleven so carry one here twenty carry two so nine and this is six the same the same thing so if I do it the way or the order that we do in early age so I will have here twelve see I will have that number here so it's gonna be seven nine then I will have the this one in the middle so it's gonna be four two three then I will have this one at the last which is gonna be eight four six you see same idea so when I add it's the same thing the same addition the only thing is the terms are not in order here so here's gonna be 2 11 so 0 so here I will have 9 and this is 6 and I will have the same answer now what about the uh, number with sign like uh, multiply negative by negative and positive uh, and uh, positive by negative so what's uh, what's the rule here the rule is uh, very simple so let's do uh, the rule of sign so uh, when you have a uh, positive time positive is always give you a positive so positive times positive it'll give you positive So like uh, 2 times 5 is 10. Passive, passive, the answer is passive. So when we have a negative times a negative, it gives you a passive again. Like minus uh, 3 times minus 4, so it's going to give me 12. So the common rule here is the product of same sign is positive so 
same sign product is positive always when the sign are the same they always positive either both positive or both negative the answer is always positive so now if I have a positive times negative it give me negative like minus 4 times 7 oh I flip here so 4 times minus 7 is minus 28 and if I have a negative times a positive is negative so if I have minus 9 times 2 is minus 18 so here so different sign uh, the product is always negative so different sign product is negative different sign product is negative so this is the rule when we have different sign or same sign now we're going to talk about <coughs> a new concept related unification which is power so what is a power but <coughs> let me start with an example and you can understand what's what's the idea so uh, 8 is a power 4 is a power 9 is a power 27 is a power 81 is a power so those those number are power so why not 2 3 5 11 uh, 17 so why not those type of number why don't call them power so the idea of why we call those uh, number power because they can be written as a countable product of identical number so now for example 8 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 so I can count how many uh, factor I have and those factors are equal to each other that's mean identical here it can be written as 2 times 2 this can be written as uh, 3 times 3 here is 3 times 3 times 3 and here can be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 or you can do it as 9 times 9 so because we can write down those number in this uh, form of uh, multiplication we call them uh, power so this is the power and because it can be written as a product of countable factor so that's the idea of power but you see we use some rotation for example here we, we make it as 2 3 that's mean 2 is the quantity the identical quantity always here we put the identical quantity and the 3 is the counting number how many number we have we have 1 2 3 so I'm gonna put 3 here so here it can be 2 2 because I have 2 of the same number here it can be 3 2 because I have 2 of the same number here is 3 and I have 3 of them so it's gonna be 3 here it's gonna be 3 and I have 4 of them so it's gonna be 3 4 here and this will be 9 2 so this is just a notation it's not power this is just we call like a presentation of the power how it presents power so this is this type is just a presentation of the power but in fact the power is the number if I can write that number in this form or uh, any other form like this or more than that so we call it power so that's the definition 
let's uh, write down the definition so definition so power is a number that can be written as product as a countable product of identical as a countable product of identical and our presentation we use for that so this is how we present number so if I have a times a we have n time so we can represent this as a n and a is the quantity which is the identical quantity so this is the identical quantity and uh, I call it I prefer to call it root because this is the source of the power so that means this is uh, the value that create the power like for example uh, uh, 2 times 2 times 2 will give me 8 so if I were down here 2 3 equal 8 that means the source that create this 8 is 2 that means the root is 2 most of the book they call it base but I prefer root because I believe root is the right name for that uh, number but please uh, this is my my way of naming the, uh, the terms stick with your teacher because this is what you're gonna get the grade from not from me so but this is I call it the root and the number of uh, factor so this is number of factor so I call it exponent So here, my root here, the root is 2 and my exponent is 3 and my uh, power is 8. So this is how we uh, describe that notation. Now how to read this uh, notation, so it's uh, it's very simple but we have a special uh, reading for some uh, exponents so when you have a to the n so here we read a to the nth power so but we have some special uh, way how to read uh, uh, some uh, some power so uh, for example if I have a and n equal to so we read this as uh, n a to the second power but most of the time we don't use that reading we just say a square and if n equal 3 so a to the third power so we use a cube but for the rest so a to the fourth power we just read it as a to the fourth power and so on so we keep going so if I have a to the end like a to the 5, 6, 7 and so on so just say a to the nth power like 5th, 6 and so on to the nth power 
so the only those two are they have special reading but for the rest is the same the same way we read this we read the rest fifth six seven and so on I'll talk about some uh, <coughs> power properties so let's uh, power properties So let's uh, have let M and B integer. Let's pick some integer here. And uh, X, Y, B numbers can be any type of number. This email integers can be anything. All right. So uh, the first property is uh, if the roots are the same, and I multiply uh, the power. So I just need to add the exponent. So so we'll have n plus n. So uh, for example, if I have two cube times uh, two to the fourth power. So here normally I should have two three plus four, which is two to the seventh uh, power. So if we want to do it in terms of if I expand this other product going to be two times two times two times and uh, here it's going to be four two times two four times as you see if I count how many to have here so it's going to be two two seven power so when you have the same root we add the exponent so same root product add exponent so same root product add the exponent. Let me put the edge here. Now if uh, I have uh, x times uh, y and to the to the n power. So here, what we do here, we distribute. So it's gonna be x n times y n. So if I have two times three, fourth power. So the same thing if I have two times three, times two times three, four times times two times three, times two times three. And this is multiplication, so I have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. How many do I have here? I have 4 twos, and how many do we here? I have 4 threes. And uh, if the root is not equal to 0, then uh, x to the uh, 0 power, so it's always 1. So, like 2 to the 0 power is 1, 3 to the 0 power is 1, 1000 to the 0 power is 1, so any number to the 0 power is 1, and uh, the last thing is like when you see x by itself is always x to the first power, always, so any number is always to the first power, like 2 is 2 to the first power, 3 is 3 to the first power, 9 is 9 to the first power. The same thing with negative. So if I have minus 9 here, for example, I'm going to be minus 9 to the first power. But you have to put the parentheses. So this is about the property uh, of power. So let's do some uh, example. Example. So let's suppose I have uh, two x to the third power times three uh, x to the fourth power. So here, what I do here, I multiply the number with the number and the power with the power. So it's gonna be two times three times x three times x fourth power. So here's gonna give me six. Here I will apply the property of exponent. So the same root add the 
exponents, so it's going to be x to the 7. So if I have, for example, 4x times 5x to the 7, again here I will multiply the number with the number and the power the power. Here remember, when you have no number here, that means it is uh, first power. So it's going to be 4 times 5, and we have x to the fourth the first power times x to the 7. So here I will have 20 times x1 plus 7 is 8. So, and when we have, for example, uh, 3x to the 0 power times uh, 4x to the third power, so, uh, or x cube. So here, you see, I just add this normally. Uh, we don't put x to 0, we just put 1. So we don't put nothing, just put sometimes just 3 times 4x to the third power. But sometimes some teacher put this to see what the student can do. So in fact, this is the same thing as 1, so you don't need even to worry about it. So it's like you have 3 times 1, which is 3. So it's going to be just 3 times 4x to the cube, which is the same thing as 12x cube. So when you have x to the 0, don't even bother yourself. Just make it equal to 1, or just like any other as, as 1. So just 1 times the number. So it's the same thing if I have 3. Uh, times 4 to the cube, so it's the same thing as 12 uh, cube, it's the same idea. So this and this are the same, but some teacher they put this in case to see uh, what's the reaction of the student. Sometimes they do it like this way, for example, 2 times x, 4 times y cube, and they put 0 here. You see, anything to the power of 0 is uh, is 1. So the 0 power of anything is 1. So I don't need to worry about here, the inside, whatever the inside is. As long as we have everything uh, is the root of uh, 0 power, so I just put 1, so it's going to be 2 times 1, which is 2. How big this can be, it does not matter, as long as I have a 0 as exponent, so it's 1. So I hope it's uh, it's clear. This is all about lesson today. So I hope uh, uh, it's clear and uh, you learn your stuff. Even most of you know multiplication. So, uh, but I hope it's it's worth it. And please, if you have any comments about uh, the lesson and how I present it, please do so. It will help me a lot. Improve my teaching. And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching the video. And uh, assalamu alaikum.